Hi, Arnie. Were you prescribed antibiotics? Don't be scared, but they always do have a bunch of side effects. Hang in there. It'll pass. Don't do that, Arnold. Bacteria can adapt to antibiotics and develop immunity to them. That's how resistant bacteria emerge. Resistant bacteria kill about 700,000 people every year. The good news is that when bacteria compete with each other, they produce substances toxic to one another. So while scientists are creating new antibiotics, we can try to pit bacteria against each other. You'd have been better off recycling the antibiotics. It's in trash bins where a huge number of bacteria accumulate, which can come into contact with various antibiotics and create a Superbug. Well, your immunity is already weakened by your illness. And now this too. Antibiotics are designed for known bacteria. If new ones emerge, our antibiotics will be powerless. Recently, scientists discovered almost a thousand bacteria in the glaciers of Tibet, almost all of them unknown to science. It almost sounds like the beginning of a horror story, especially in the case of global warming. Superbugs are not easily treated, Arnie. It takes a lot of time to create a new antibiotic. Seriously, Arnie, you're planning to search for a superbug using ChatGPT. By the year 2050, someone will die every three seconds from diseases caused by superbugs. But in May 2023, a bowson was created, a new antibiotic against one of the three most dangerous superbugs. Scientists were assisted by AI in this discovery. Arnold, in your condition, you should be in bed, not conducting experiments. You even kind of look like a bacterium right now. Buddy, I really wouldn't risk it with that unknown solution if I were you. But then again, you've got nothing to lose. Wow, you got lucky. I don't even know how that's possible. Fools and beginners always get lucky, and in this case, you're both. You feeling bad again, are you? I told you there'd be side effects. The main thing is not to create a new superbug. It seems that he's about to be robbed by a homeless bum. Or rather, he could be robbed if this lazy lunkhead at least had some money. Thank God, I was scared he was going to steal my camera. Let's see what's wrong with him. If he would have brushed his teeth even once, he would have definitely noticed he has an ulcer that hasn't healed for several weeks. This is a very alarming signal, and I know what to look for. Cancer. Even the frailest body creates millions of cells every day. But sometimes a bug occurs, a mutant is born, a cell that's different from the others. But it tries to hide this fact as much as it possibly can. If you have a healthy body, your immune system will easily detect this wayward cell. But if your body is engaged in constantly trying to treat itself, then it has no energy left to fight the cancer. Do you want one for yourself, Arnold? Easy. If your parents had cancer, then there's a 10% chance you'll get it too. No? A mutation can also be caused by radiation. For example, visiting the Chernobyl nuclear power plant without protection. Or living for a thousand days on the International Space Station. You could also smoke six cigarettes a day or eat two kilograms of smoked meat for 10 years. You won't even have time to blink as this cell will turn into a huge cancerous tumor. Look, the food inside of him can't even get to the stomach. Mutated cells make their way into the bloodstream and then spread throughout the body, into the liver, the lungs, and the brain. It's time to apply poison. Chemotherapy doesn't cure cancer. It kills it. But healthy cells also have to die along with the cancer. What I'm thinking is, let's build a bacterial power plant that uses your poop for fuel. Hmm, not enough for all your gadgets, is it? But what did you expect? Bacteria are really, really tiny. I know, let's embigify them. A bacterium the size of a cat will give us 46,000 times more energy. And we can get even more bacteria and more fuel. America produces 128 billion liters of sewage a day. This could provide electricity to an entire city and will also solve the problem of water purification. Ginormous halobacteria that feed on salt can provide free energy from the ocean and desalinate water for desert regions. 
three and a half million tons of plastic are thrown away every day. The embigified Idianella sakaiensis can recycle this plastic into energy. Then you can open up an electric vehicle charging network. Unlike fuel energy, which annually emits 37 and a half billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere, bacterial energy is absolutely pure and emits only oxygen. Sounds like a great startup idea. Arnold, you've solved humanity's environmental problems and made trillions of dollars in the energy business to boot. Arnold! 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 Wake up! What? Are you dreaming about cat-sized bacteria again? You should know that cell division is only possible in microscopic organisms. Once a bacterium reaches its maximum size, it simply divides into two. This happens every 20 minutes. So in just six hours, one bacterium can multiply into 25,000. And your debts are multiplying at the same rate. Time to pay up, Arnold. Hurry. Right in front of you is the new generation of the DeLorean. I've upgraded this Tesla so you can now travel not only to another city, but also to another year. 1986, for example. It worked! We're at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant just a few minutes before the disaster. Arnold, bring the camera. You're gonna shoot the explosion on it, and I'll post the video on YouTube. I'd say at least 20 million views are guaranteed. Hmm, is the battery already dead? Put it on charge. It's a European outlet, doof knuckle. You need an adapter. Or I guess not already. So, it's all because of you. It doesn't matter. You need to get out of here fast. There's a power bank in the glove box. Plug it into the car. Damn it, it takes at least 60 seconds to charge. Get out the protective suit. Just by looking at the area, you'd never know that you're in a radiation zone. But in fact, the radiation here is cosmic. That's not quite what I expected. Maybe you swapped bags with someone. With radiation above 500 rentgens, your hair and nails fall out instantly. Your skin turns red, and all those diseases you've got get worse. But you're lucky, Arnold. You won't feel much pain because you'll fall into a coma in three, two... Oh, you're already out. This is due to the fact that the radiation here is 20,000 rentgens per hour, and this technology can't handle that onslaught. The battery should be enough to get you back to the year 2020. Go! What a trip that turned out to be. Hmm, I think you may need a visit to the oncologist. Arnold, do you know just how nincompoopian you look right now? I wonder who took your protective suit? Hmm. <laughs> Don't move! It looks like that's an inland taipan. Hey, dumbass! That's the most venomous land snake on Earth! The taipan's venom is 180 times more toxic than a cobra's. A drop the size of a pinhead can kill 1,000 rats. And 44 milligrams of this venom, which the snake injects in a single bite, can kill over 100 Arnolds. Running is useless. The taipan does not slink away after the first bite like other snakes, but continues with a series of lightning-fast, super-precise attacks to finish off the victim. These 13-millimeter long fangs just injected a powerful hematoxin into your blood that prevents it from clotting. This leads to internal bleeding. You lose control of your body. Your limbs stop obeying. Breathing becomes difficult, and convulsions begin soon after. Oh, don't worry, Arnold, that's not blood. That's urine. Your muscle cells literally begin to dissolve and leave through your kidneys. Due to this, your urine becomes red. If you don't take an antidote within 30 minutes, then for the next eight hours, during what's left of your worthless life, you will experience hellish pain that will make you beg to be finished off sooner. The first part of the simulation is complete. And 
One more breath. Well done. You've inhaled exactly 2.5 grams of mercury. You can find as much in two mercury thermometers if you breathe in their evaporated mercury when you inhale, just like you did right now. Or if you fill a small room with thermometers and trample them thoroughly, it will take you around one hour and 250,000 thermometers to breathe in the same dose of mercury and die. This is also mercury, doof hole. If you drink a glass of ordinary mercury, the maximum that can happen is you might get a severely upset stomach and diarrhea. But if the mercury is finely fragmented, you will die in pain. When ingested, tiny droplets form hazardous soluble salts. Your body temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius. You begin to shiver, and your chest and stomach start ripping apart from pain. Also, don't forget to add extreme salivation, vomiting, and diarrhea to the mix. If we don't bump your stomach immediately, death will come after 10 to 30 excruciatingly painful days. The second part of the simulation, a virus has snuck in somehow. Today you're going to fish on the banks of Sentinel Island, but don't you dare set foot on land. Arnold! Congratulations, you're now in the clutches of the wildest and most hostile tribe in the world. And they don't like guests very much. I'm afraid they're going to eat you. From your skin, they can make eight drums. From your veins, five bows. And from your empty skull, a big mug. And your scalp is going to decorate the chief's body. Arnold, where are you going? Wow, I didn't think aliens really existed. These guys are going to do something really useful with your body. Your body consists of 70% water, 24% organic matter, and 6% inorganic substances. In a cucumber, there's also a lot of water, about 85 to 90%. So technically, you're a very emotional cucumber. From the remaining 6% of inorganic elements, many useful things can be created. In your body, there's enough iron to make a nail 6 centimeters long. Your body also can contains enough copper to make a pair of headphones. And all of this while you still remain alive. You can even remove most of your internal organs and still go on living. The human body seems fragile, but you can live even without your stomach, spleen, 75% of your liver, 80% of your intestines, one kidney, one lung, and almost every organ located in your pelvis and your inguinal cavity. Of course, you'll hardly be like a cucumber, but it won't kill you. And you will have those free headphones of somewhat dubious quality. But these are all useless things. In fact, the composition of your body includes carbon, hydrogen, sodium, and oxygen. All these chemical elements are also part of dynamite. The hidden explosive power of the human body is equal to 175 grams of TNT. In fact, the strength of the explosion will be in direct proportion to how much you like salty foods during your life. You should also probably know that five minutes ago I sent one of them in your direction. There's no point hitting the gas, Arnold. The electromagnetic pulse wave killed all the electronics modern cars are so chock full of. Next, you're going to be hit by the shock wave. Even if this old rust bucket were made of solid graphene, which at the atomic level is even stronger than diamond, and you somehow miraculously survive all this destruction, you're still going to go through living hell. Wake your skinny ass up, Arnold. We need to check how far you are from the epicenter of the explosion. Remember, if you see a mushroom cloud, stick your hand out in that direction and raise your thumb. If the cloud is bigger than your thumb, then you're in the radioactive zone. What a lucky guy. Do you have sunscreen? It won't help, you dumbass. I'm joking. You should run away from here. Fast. Radioactive isotopes in small quantities have already begun to slowly destroy your DNA. How do you feel, my friend? Yes, that's right, it's a good time for a shower. Avoiding contact with contaminated items and using special water procedures can increase your chances of survival. Do you have a water filter, Arnold? Even the weakest radiation will result in progressively malignant tumors. Well, congratulations, you got through a nuclear attack, and you no longer need a Halloween costume. But this isn't the end. If someone in the world launches a missile with a nuclear warhead, a domino effect will follow. All the nuclear powers of the world will let loose their dogs of war. Then comes the real apocalypse, Arnold. The era of humanity is likely to end. You're gonna die, my friend. It's time to get out of this universe. Oh, hell gosh darn it, Arnold, you put in the wrong address again. You've been thrown back into the universe of robots. Whoa! Yeah.
It's not a good morning, Arnold. Do you remember what day it is today? Well, of course, today is Apocalypse Day. A volcano has already erupted. Then next we get a tsunami. And to top it off, we got a big-ass meteor coming. The eruption of a supervolcano is an excellent example of a possible apocalypse that our ancestors already experienced.